Hey, I'm John Mather. I'm at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center at NASA headquarters. I'm the senior project scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope and also chief scientist for the science mission directorate at NASA headquarters and a Nobel Prize winner in, in physics from 2006 for measuring the Big Bang radiation. The entire prosperity that our country now enjoys is a result of scientists and technologists doing what they do here. Uh, it is the special advantage that this country has developed over the last many decades. Uh, we were kind of prompted into it by the war, uh, World War II, and by the Soviet Union when they challenged our apparent uh, dominance in the world. And so this country invested very strongly and heavily in science and technology and attracted talent from around the world to come build this country. I think we need to continue to do that. Uh, the uh, world is going to be continuing to be a, a highly technology-dominated uh, society, and our, uh, our people need work. Our people need uh, work that is, uh, is based on the latest that we can offer. So science and technology are the heart of our modern economy. We need to make sure that continues. I think the public needs to know where our candidates stand on uh, scientific matters and, uh, and what they plan to do to support the uh, direction that the country needs to take. Uh, very many of our programs that uh, we're currently working on in, in research uh, will uh, very definitely affect how the country is prosperous in the future. Uh, things related to uh, agriculture, to uh, energy supply, to climate management, uh, to responding to climate change, uh, to a fundamental research that uh, helps uh, excite young people to become the scientists and technologists of the future. All of those things are important to us and I think the public should know where the candidates stand on this.